Hi, I'm Carol Seminera. I'm here at the Kerr Art and Cultural Center in Kerrville, Texas. We're located at 226 Earl Garrett Street. My husband, my good friend, and I have an art show inside. We want you to see it, so come on with me. The gallery is open. So here we are inside KACC. In addition to this gallery, which is the Derby Gallery, there are two other galleries in the, in the facility, as well as a gift shop and class spaces. Right now they have four classes scheduled for early uh, fall, watercolor, oil, pastel, and collage. <coughs> So welcome to the Three Friends Art Exhibit, Three Artists, 49 Works of Art. Let's start. This first one is a photograph by Joe Howd. Uh, the significant points about this are, these are gladiolas we grew in our own backyard, and he shot that on his iPhone, because he always says the best camera you have is the one you have with you. This is a watercolor triptych I did. Uh, it's called A River Runs Through, and it's the Guadalupe River. Of course, you can't have an exhibit, an art exhibit, in Texas without some blue bonnet. So Mary Kay did this beautiful pastel painting of the Willow City Loop in full bloom. Uh, the thing about pastels is it is considered a painting. They're not drawings because the entire canvas is covered with the medium. This is one of my favorites. We were in Burano, Italy. This is called Wash Day in Burano. And Burano is one of the small islands that's part of the Venetian chain. The beauty of this community, which in addition to making lace, is every building is painted a different color. There's actually a law that says they all have to be painted vibrant colors and no two same colors can be next to each other. We happened to be there on a Wednesday, which is laundry day. So every building had laundry hanging out. The beauty of Burano is very small. Even I can't get lost. Mary Kay did this painting. This is um, early spring. Again, some blue bonnets and of course, a beautiful agave in um, Lady Bird Johnson Park in Fredericksburg. This is important because there's another Lady Bird Johnson Park painting by another artist in the show. This is a, a sunset, one of the vibrant sunsets we get here in the hill country, rendered in pastel by Mary Kay. And this is, this is a little church in Santa Fe. She divides her time between Fredericksburg and Santa Fe. This painting of a blue chair surrounded by flowers is from our visit to the Russian River Valley in upstate uh, California. And this is the other Lady Bird Johnson painting I mentioned. This I rendered as a fairy tale, and it's actually the bridge to the golf course. I had a lot of fun painting it, and a lot of people that saw the show said, oh, I walk there all the time. This little church was rendered in watercolor by Mary Kay. That's not her, her primary medium, but she is also very skillful in it, as you can see. This little painting is, is one of my favorites. It's a, it's a mixed media work. The uh, bowl is torn paper. The orchids are little pieces of tissue that have been augmented with watercolor and colored pencil. So it's mixed media, and because it's so tiny, I named it Orchid Haiku. So when we come over here, this is, this is one of Joe's graphic prints. This is called Hill Country Madonna. This is a friend of ours. We were at an event. She was in the kitchen working. He took her picture, and you can see that's a very enigmatic expression on her face. This painting of mine is watercolor with a little colored pencil. It's called Under the Sea because all the motion, all the activity is unseen. It's under the sea. And if you look closely, there's a little tiny sailboat. This is a, a watercolor and ink sketch of old St. Mary's Church in Fredericksburg. Mary Kay and I formed a group called the Hill Country Sketchers. So we go out and sketch 
landscapes, buildings, whatever we want to in Fredericksburg. This is not manipulated. This is actually the cloud formation we saw from our porch a few years back when this huge storm was coming in. We were on the porch, Joe looked up and said, that looks like trouble brewing, and that's what he named it, trouble brewing Texas storm clouds. And the beauty is that, yes, they were golden under this, this very, very ominous black. One of the things people don't realize about Santa Fe is the beauty of the aspens. Here's, these are aspens in spring. These, this is a, a pastel by Mary Kay. Over here is another aspen rendition. These are in early fall. So they're beautiful. They, the leaves dance. I, I always think they look like ballerinas. This is a little watercolor colored pencil I, I did. And I, I like to tell people that Chagall came and painted the cloud for me. Um, this is a couple of watercolors. Whoops, I did. This is a Corpus Christi clouds. And this is a, a, a little Tuscan farm scene that we, we drove by and I captured. Um, this is called Speckled Park because you can't have an art show in Texas without at least one cow painting. And in addition to it being a speckled park, that's the kind of cow it is. It's a speckled park cow. This corner is sort of mine. This is, this is my little venue. Um, this is called Abstract Extract because it's a tiny, tiny abstract. It's watercolor. This is called Dolorous Persimmons because it was an experiment. I just pulled three tubes of paint at random and painted these persimmons, and they look a little sad to me. This is very fun. I painted a watercolor landscape, and I wasn't happy with it. So what I do with paintings I'm not crazy about is if I don't paint over them, I use a punch to make gift tags. And I was punching this into gift tags, my husband came in and said, that looks pretty good. So I went, he's right. So it's a much better landscape as a collage. This is a, a pot of flowers on a windowsill in Italy. And the fun thing about it is the pot's painted with Mexican motif. And this is one of my favorites. This is an acrylic and um, the window, the Bougainvillea, is, is my, my friend's window in, in Los Angeles. And this is a terrine I have sitting in my dining room. And the joke to this painting is this little painting of a cow in the corner. I, my most successful painting was this very large acrylic of a very mid-century looking cow. And I called it mid-century bovine. And because it was my most successful and most expensive painting that I've sold, I managed to put him, I named him Alfred after Alfred Hitchcock, as, as a little guest appearance in, in every show. This is Joe's photographic wall. Uh, we begin with this salami shop in Verona. It was, it was lit up like a jewel. You can see it was like a golden jewel. Over here off camera is a whole pig's head and a pig's haunch. And the most fun thing about this is if you look very closely, there's a little tiny sign that says, no photos, no video. But it was too late, it was already in the camera. I love this gal. Somebody said, she got up that morning, she got dressed, and she said, I look good, and she headed out. She's called a Venetian shopper because we were in Venice. I'm walking along behind Joe. I look down a street and I see her steaming ahead. And I said, you've got to get her picture. And he did. And this sign says, everything is one or two euros. And this says, come. So she's coming to shop. When we were in Sicily, this is Catania. And Catania is the second largest city in Sicily behind Palermo. Every weekend at Catania, which, by the way, is at the base of Mount Etna, they have 
a farmer's market. They close off about five streets and one street is all cheese vendors and one street is vegetable vendors. And what they do is they hang all these colorful umbrellas over the street to shade people. It, it was just magical. Um, this is Joe's piece de resistance. This is a view from one of the three bridges in Rome of the Duomo. And he shot this without using a tripod. He handheld and rested the camera on one of the other bridges. It's so clear and so sharp, you can read the inscription of the buildings and you can see the people on the other bridge. This is printed on um, aluminum, which is the reason that it just seems to glow from within. In, in Venice, there's a time called the blue hour. And that's at sunset when all the buildings turn blue. So this is a Venetian sunset. And if you look closely, one lone bird decided to add a little extra to the paint, to the photo. This is a graphic print. This was a, a photo that Joe manipulated the colors a little bit. This is, of course, the Pantheon in Rome. And in Venice, as in New Orleans and in in uh, Rio, they have a carnival. And Venetian masks are a big thing. This was a mask store, and you can see all the masks. It was, it was just beautiful. I, I like this one so much, I have it hanging in, in my bedroom. Um, this is St. Mark's Square. This is one of the griffins at the big fountain in St. Mark's. And what Joe did is he basically digitize the background. This is mostly Mary Kay's area. Um, these three beautiful, beautiful cliff paintings are rendered in pastel. And unfortunately, when, when they came off the truck, they were already sold, which was much to many people, myself included, sadness. Um, on the sides are bell towers and church scenes. This is, this is the, um, the church at Trampas in New Mexico. But this is one of Joe's photos. He took this at a bell tower in Ganji, Sicily. Ganji is, is the, the little medieval village where my father was born. My father emigrated from Sicily. And um, if you look closely, you can see all the tiles on, on the apex of, of the church are different colors. And I like to tell people, this is, this is the bell tower of the church where my dad and my granddad were baptized. Um, I put one of mine it, with Mary Kay because I thought the colors kind of went. This is, these are sentinels of San Pedro, the San Pedro cactus, and they, and they looked like they were guarding the wall. Two more Mary Kay's pastels. This is Sedona Bell, and this is a summer morning on Canyon Road, which is the very famous art walk in Santa Fe. This photograph is called Sicilian Rocks. When people first look at it, they think, oh, it's Santa Fe or maybe parts of Texas, but it's not. This is Sicily, and if you look very carefully, this that is a house that gives you an idea of the, the grand size of these rocks. Um, this, this is a little watercolor colored pencil that's just called Red Flowers and a Daffodil. I had a lot of fun doing this one. And this is probably the most poignant photograph in the show. Joe's called it Words of the Prophet. This, this building, this abandoned building, is visible from the road on I-10. We, we saw it as we were heading home. And it's so forlorn, and the dead tree. We took this picture, he took this picture, and printed it in black and white, because if you notice the graffiti that's all across the building, it's a memorial to someone who died on that stretch of highway. It was very touching. And this is, this is the end of our show. A beautiful photo of a beautiful bike in front of a beautiful pair of wooden doors in Verona. Um, this, is, this is my other joke, and this painting is acrylic, and it's called Senes Pa Bambi. 
I am not Bambi. That's because the little fawn in the picture seems a little malevolent to me, so he's not a Disney Bambi. This is a watercolor of a, an oak tree on a friend's property. This, it's called Lost Oak, Karen's tree. This beautiful tree was completely decimated in our recent ice storms back in February. So that's a gift to my friend. And this last photo is the Alameda Theater, the historical Alameda Theater in San Antonio, Texas. Only the beautiful marquee is, is lit up in color. So there you have it, 49 works of art by three artists. We're here at KACC, that's Kerr Arts and Cultural Center in Kerrville, Texas, located at 226 Earl Garrett Street. The show runs through August 7th. I hope you come to see it in person. Thank you so much.